Donald Trump is expected to name his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, as his senior advisor. Now, of course, there are a few issues with this, considering the fact that it could potentially break federal anti-nepotism laws. But Jared Kushner is his son-in-law and also the husband of Donald Trump's daughter, Ivanka Trump. And uh, he also has some conflict of interest issues involved if he does become uh, Donald Trump's advisor. Now, in regard to the federal anti-nepotism laws, I want to read you what the law says specifically. Let's go to graphic 20A. So it's in regard to any individual who may not be appointed, employed, promoted, or advanced in or to a civilian position in an agency if such appointment, employment, promotion, or advancement has been advocated by a public official serving in or exercising jurisdiction or control over the agency who is a relative of the individual. So what does relative mean? Well, the law specifies that as well. I think it's pretty clear for most people, but here's the wording of the law. Relative means with respect to a public official, an individual who is related to the public official as father, mother, son, daughter, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, first cousin, nephew, niece, husband, wife, father-in-law, mother-in-law, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, daughter brother-in-law, sister-in-law, stepfather, stepmother, stepson, stepdaughter, stepbrother, stepsister, half-brother, or half-sister. This is a federal law. So uh, the question is, and this is according to the lawyer who served under uh, Bush's administration and who also served for uh, John McCain as his lawyer, uh, if Trump were to have him as the senior advisor, he would literally have to disregard the law, literally break the law. And that, again, is according to a lawyer who served under two conservative politicians. Uh, and Newt Gingrich at one point said, yeah, I guess it'd be break it could be breaking the law, but then the president has uh, pardon power. So he could just immediately pardon himself and all of his family from breaking that law. That's right. And so Richard Painter, who worked as uh, Bush's chief ethics lawyer, said, if the pardon power allows that, the pardon power allows the president to become a dictator. Because then you could break any law and then pardon yourself. Break the law, pardon yourself. And what law can't you break under that uh, idea? Now, I want you to understand something. I actually want Jared Kushner in the White House. Now, am I a big fan of Jared Kushner? No. <laughs> okay, Ivanka Trump? No. But among his advisors, but we didn't get our way, our candidate didn't win, their candidate won. So among Trump's advisors, Kushner and Ivanka are among the more moderate ones. They're not at all moderate, I'm just on that scale, right? So would I rather have Steve Bannon have Trump's ear or Jared Kushner have Trump's ear? I'd rather have Kushner. Right. But you do have to follow the law. Yeah, look, unfortunately, they both have Trump's ear. And Kushner, you know, as we learn more and more about him, is a little problematic as well. Um, his disdain for the media, I think, will lead to further um, a further lack of transparency with the administration and the media. Um, I didn't know this, but uh, he bought a media outlet that he didn't like. He hated the way that they reported, so he's like, I'm going to buy it. And so what kind of impact did he have on the reporting after he became the owner of that media outlet? I'm unsure. But Time Magazine has five um, really interesting things about Jared Kushner that I was unaware of. His father uh, is serving time in prison for... Served time. Or served time, sorry, earlier uh, for... And by the way, the guy who put him in prison was Chris Christie, and that's why Chris Christie's not your vice president right now. Yeah, Man, yeah. Man, payback's a bitch. And why was he in prison? Uh, for tax evasion, uh, for illegal campaign donations. But it's okay, because the money that they save from that tax evasion, they used to buy up the media they didn't like. <laughs> so this is how it works. Yeah, so it must be nice to be rich enough to be like, oh, that media organization has bothered me. I will now purchase it. Okay, uh, now, having said all that, it's all a Hobson's choice. There are no good cho choices among Trump advisors. So... I'm still sticking with I'd rather have Kushner or Ivanka than the Bannons of the world or the outright unbelievable corruptions of the Rex Tillersons and the Mnuchins and all that. Uh, but <laughs> the law is not optional. And this is pretty ironic coming from a candidate who billed himself as the law and order candidate. Exactly. We are the watchers on the wall. We are the sword in the darkness. Come join us. TYTnetwork.com slash join.